Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, general love reading for Cancer. This is going to be for the first half of your April from the 1st to 15th. Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. So we're going to take a look at your over energies regarding love and the person that you're connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are, are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read with a possible outcome and advice and what else you guys need to know. Apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. All right, so Cancer, let's get started. Over energies for Cancer. What is surrounding Cancer? What does Cancer need to know regarding love? and the person that they are connecting with for the first half of their April from the 1st to the 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. Okay, we have the tower here and the sun. Whatever is going on here, something happened, and this was a blessing in disguise, okay? Because I feel like there's something better coming towards you. Um, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, the Sun, Leo energy. We have the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Whoever this is, this is someone here that's been very in and out of your life. This person was really creating a lot of stress and anxiety in your life, and I feel like, you know, the universe stepped in to basically assist you to help you out. Um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the Knight of Swords. And then we have the Seven of Cups here and the King of Cups. This could be you confused about a whole situation that you went through here. Um, you know, it's something that you might not get now, but I feel like sooner or, sooner or later or down the line in the future, you're going to understand why this had to happen because I feel like you were in a situation that was not a good fit for you, okay? It was creating more... Uh, suffering than happiness here all right so tell me about the tower why is the tower here all right the tower page of cups the sun that's not the page of cups not page of pentacles the sun ten of pentacles nine of um swords six of cups knight of swords we have the empress here so libra taurus energy Seven of Cups, Ten of Swords, wow, King of Swords, and the Page of Cups. We have someone here that was exploring other options out there, and I feel like that, that might have caused the ending. And I feel like it was a consistent thing that was happening over and over and over and over again, okay? Uh, but, you know, I feel like you're, you're missing this person. Okay, I feel like you're missing this person. I feel like you want to be back with this person here. Uh, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So place yourself where you see fit, Cancer. Either you're this Empress here, or, or I feel like this, you know, someone here is really stressed out, someone here is really confused, and then I feel like maybe this King of Cups was the one that's uh, out there exploring other options. I mean, typically that's Scorpio energy, but it also could be Cancer or Pisces. Now the Six of Cups here and the um, Empress. So you've had a long history with this person. And I feel like there's an the energy of having a hard time letting this go, okay? We have the Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups here. I mean, I do feel like someone here is coming in with an apology, okay? Or someone here has apologized. Um, but I just feel like someone here is not really okay with this. You know, this, this king here might have gone off to fa and found new love, Seems like this person kept exploring around, exploring around, exploring around here. Um, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, tell me about the person that Cancer is dealing with here. What are their true feelings and intentions towards Cancer for the first half of their April from the 1st to the 15th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. We have the Two of Cups. 
Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre Empress Energy, Four of Swords, Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Six of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles here. You know, we have someone here that wants a new beginning here, and I feel like it's this king. Uh, this king. I mean, the, you, you definitely have a strong soul tie with this individual. Nine of, I feel like this is you right here. You know, I feel like, you know, even though this person might have found new love, they want to come back because I feel like there's their connection with you is so strong, it doesn't really hold a candle to a new person. You know what I mean? So, you know, this person acted out of impulsivity. Um, the thing is, when I see a lot of nights, this is telling me that this is a, a person that's not really reliable. This is a person that doesn't really keep the promises that they make, okay? Uh, Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then we have the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, six plus one is seven. Someone here wants, you know, someone here wants to, someone here no longer wants to waste time on other things here and basically focus on you. You guys might have a, you guys might have a soul contract or something like that. Or it could be a karmic connection. This also could be a same-sex relationship. It doesn't have to be, but just apply this to your own unique situation. Two of Cups. Six of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Cups, Four of Swords, Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. We have someone here that's, you know, maybe, you know, I feel like someone here that was trying to chase you. Someone here might be realizing that they shouldn't have let you go. So we have the Six of Wands and the Four of Cups. Someone here knows vict where victory and success lies. But like I said, you guys could have had several conversations. Maybe this person did apologize to you, but I feel like you kept rejecting this cup out of this person's hand. This offer, King, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Kings and Queen of Cups here and the Knight of Wands. Uh, this person is just all over the place. On the, on my table here, I the night the nights are already out on the table. They're going all in different directions. One is going this way, the other one's going this way, and then the other one's going this way. So I, I, I yeah, I'm not quite sure. It's kind of hard to trust this person. Uh, Page of Pentacles and the Queen, uh, uh, eight, uh, Queen of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. So you could be receiving a lot of communication from this person, but you're ignoring the communication, or that you're trying to leave this behind and move on from this. Okay, outcome and advice here for cancer regarding their love situation for the first half of their April from the 1st to the 15th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for cancer. What else does cancer need to know regarding their love situation here? What else does cancer need to know regarding their love situation here? Okay, we have the lovers in the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands and the Six of Swords. And the Five of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, I feel like someone here is in deep regret. Someone here is in deep regret. We have someone here that's moving towards the future. Someone here can't, the other person can't let go. And they're trying to come back here. They're trying to sneak back in. This is a very toxic individual, by the way. This is an individual that's really, really dishonest. Um, I feel like we have someone here that's really attached to their bad behavior. It feels like this person can't really shake it off or learn from their mistakes here, okay? Or take responsibility for their actions. Um, Gemini energy with the lovers and the seven of pentacles. You know, you could be feeling like, you know what? Even though they're, you know, even though I have a strong connection with this individual, you know, I feel like I might be wasting my time on this connection here. We have the three of wands and the six of swords. I feel like someone here might have or might or will physically move away from someone just to get away from someone, okay? Uh, five of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune here. I do feel like we have someone here that might be facing their karma or that someone here is learning from their karma, learning from their mistakes here, okay? This could be a karmic connection. It could be a karmic connection. So, um, the Lovers, Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Temperance, Three of Wands, Hermit, Virgo Energy, Six of Swords, Two of Wands, Five of Cups, Three of Cups, 
Wheel of Fortune and Judgment. Someone here is facing their karma here. Yeah, we have the Ten of Wands. So you, you're releasing this. Your person that you're dealing with might not be able to. So the Ace of, Eight of Swords and the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy. Yeah, you know, so Cancer, I feel like you were really patient with this person and I feel like you could no longer wait around for this person to change. A Hermit and the Two of Wands. Virgo energy. Could be dealing with the Virgo here. Three of Cups and Judgment. Sagittarius energy. Someone here is looking for reconciliation. Uh, five plus three. Someone here walked away. Yeah, someone here now wants to reunite. Someone here regrets walking away. Someone here regrets exploring other options here. So, yeah. Um, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy with Judgment. So Cancer, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys uh, in the next one. Thanks.